Hi, I'm Haley Zavaro. Today I want to show you the new interface of Flipgrid and how to open a Flipgrid for your classroom. Flipgrid is a tool uh, to create groups of videos. You can uh, take people from all over the world, students from all over the world, to connect on one um, platform together uh, and comment on each other's videos. So this is a tool to create an online discussion, enhance communication skills and collaboration, which are essential for the 21st century. So let's start. Go to flipgrid.com, click educator sign up, and then you sign up with either Gmail or your Microsoft account. When done, make sure that you are on the discussion. You log in with your new account and click on discussion. Then you will be able to see all the discussions you've created so far. If it's your first time, this page will be empty. You can see I have plenty of uh, discussions. So what we want to do is we want to start a new group. Click create a group. And what we want to do is we want to change it to public uh, if we want them to access it easily. If you want to uh, do some kind of a code, so they will enter with the code, click private. And then you need to choose either student email or student username. But I usually don't want you to do that. It really complicates things. So just click public and give it a name. So let's say my or let's write grade five and you can leave the code or you can give it a new code for example grade five um, Tel Aviv for example and then you click next and then you want to click skip for now and that is the link to your flipgrid flipgrid.com slash grade five Tel Aviv which is the code you decided you um, uh, inserted. So to send this to your students, you just click copy and then you send it to your students. But let's set up the group. Go to group. And there are some things that you could do here to make this um, more suitable to your students. Click on the little pencil and you can change the group name, for example, to um, a name of a story or a text that you read you want students to comment on let's just call this space food for now and um, we leave this as a public group status active and then we want to maybe drop an image or change this to something else the header Maybe this is nice for space. We want to think about the topic. So what we want to do is um, just give instructions. So now we want to start with some topics. So we scroll down and we click add a topic. Now we want to choose um, uh, the topic. For example, ask a question about the text so here we want to write accurate uh, instructions this is a book Eric Cohen's book let's say I want to attach the book to my Flipgrid I copy the link from the top from the address bar I go back to Flipgrid and I write in the instructions read again the text space food I highlight the word space food, click on the link and, and insert the link. So when they click it, they'll be directed again to the story that we read in class. Ask, ask one question to the astronaut. Ask one question to the astronauts in the text. When you're done, 
you set up the time let's say one minute is enough for them um, we don't want to do video uh, video moderation because that just that will stall everything you will have to approve every uh, video and here um, we can just create a click create topic so we have a topic topic is ready and this is a direct link to the actual topic we can send this to students so we can say send the first one if we want to set up a few um, topics for them to choose from then we won't give them this specific copy we'll give them the general the general uh, link <clears throat> the one we created where it was flipgrid.com slash grade 5 Tel Aviv so now students have the instructions they can just um, when they get it it will look like this and they have the instructions right here at the top and they can click record a response in order to go back and edit we can just click here on Flipgrid be directed or to the other tab because now you have two tabs the one here we can add a focus a topic focus and this could be let's say an image from the computer or a giphy giphy is nice we can write the keyword space and see some giphys that are related to uh, the text space food so now this will look a little better it will look like this and when students see it it looks like this so it's much cuter in order for them to upload the answer and here you can see that there is a link to the book to Eric Cohen's book space food with the text so in order for them to upload a response they just need to click on this and start recording uh, what link do you need to send to them well we can add another topic and I can show you what it looks like because sometimes we want to give them choices so if I go to the main page again I click on space food I can see that I have one topic ask a question but perhaps I want to add another topic so I click add a topic and I will have my students choose what they want to record so read again the text space food add a video make one suggestion to the astronauts we will leave this as one minute and 30 seconds because they may need more time and here we can add a giphy again and let's say this time we'll choose um, hmm, funny thing let's say this one select okay then we're done so when students get in this is a direct link to the topic but when students get in they'll be able to see two topics so here we have space food and inside space food students will be able to choose between two topics now this grade 5 uh, Tel Aviv is basically the link so they can go on the Flipgrid app and insert the code grade 5 Tel Aviv and they'll be directed to this topic in case um, you just want to use the computer you can go to flipgrid.com slash this code that you created have a look flipgrid.com slash grade 5 Tel Aviv and you got it that's what students will see it will look like this And they will see that there are two topics ask one question about the text and make one suggestion and they can choose what they want to record so that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial use this with your students this is really amazing for collaboration creating an online video discussion and uh, of course um, speaking as they add their answers, please make sure to tell them to use the filters, the emojis, and the stickers uh, in the video and also when they uh, create their selfie. Have a great day. Bye-bye.